Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I'm hearing it wouldn't hurt you to take a break is, is actually what I heard. It wouldn't hurt you to take a break. So how will they know this is for them? Well, because you've been, you've done this before. This is for somebody who's maybe been, I'm not sure if you've been in a loop with this, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone who's maybe been feeling a bit of a struggle here. Um, and I think the important message for someone with this here is to know that you're actually, I wanna look at that flower they showed me because there's something kind of blooming here for you. But they do want you to, for whatever reason, I don't know yet what the, the, the actual reason for it is, but they definitely want somebody to consider something, to take a break, to take a pause, to um, know that maybe you've done something before and it's like, maybe it's a circle, maybe it's something you've ha has happened for you before, you know? It could be like a pattern in your life, it could be something that keeps happening, it could be a situation that keeps re reoccurring. Something here they want you to know that there's um, there's a blessing in the I'm hearing something like there's a blessing in the wait or there's a blessing in the in the pause. Okay. Let's see. But spirit, why are they being told to pause? Can you tell me a little bit more about the reason for this? Because there's something about a spiritual kind of initiation happening here. Um, I do feel like some of you, this could be for multiple people, not just one person, but um, I do feel like there's qu quite a lot going on right now. You know, like I said, with these solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse we have here too. Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of purging. There's a lot of things happening at the moment. So um, Spirit's wanting to say that something something big is shifting in terms of your maybe like a, an awakening of sorts or something kind of within you that is changing. I'll look at that in a moment. But they do want you to know that the reason for this is because you may either be pushing yourself too much or pushing yourself too hard. Um, and I feel like it's because you are almost meant to take a step back. You know, it's like a situation where Spirit is wanting someone to know that they are here to take care of you. They're here to take care of things that you may not always see or may not always know what they are. So the more that you try to resist it or try to fight it, it gets worse. So um, I feel like you are having to honor a certain process that you're going through currently. And it has something to do with the pause, the reflection for you has something to do with you um, yeah, the moon in reverse, having to go through this process because you're meant to ascend or to accelerate somewhere else. Um, anything else about that spirit with the moon here too? I feel like um, for someone here too, there could be a lot, like I said, coming to the surface, especially related to the inner child or childhood. Um, and this has a lot to do with something that I feel, again, has been recurring, okay? So it could be something you recognize, like a certain pattern that has been reoccurring for you. Um, but I feel like it's important to, yeah, the Hermit is showing here too. It's important to, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, just, I'm also getting the heart chakra. Um, for some, this could also be, there's quite a bit of healing surrounding the heart chakra right now. I'm getting this maybe past experiences, past relationships, things that really don't have a place in your life anymore. They really don't serve you anymore. But I kind of feel like there could be an uncomfortable energy here for someone where you sort of feel, I don't know if you, I don't know if you want to move forward, but you kind of feel drawn to work on this inner work. Um, or there's some barrier with the Eight of Swords here. Uh, what else, Spirit, about this message? What else do we need to know about it? I'm also hearing you can paint your life however you want it. It doesn't have to be what somebody else wants, or it doesn't have to be the way that you think it has to be. 
So I do feel like this is also going together with the message that um, take a look at what you really want. How does this tie into the first message about pausing? Okay, it's about your root chakra. They're showing me the root chakra. It's connected to, okay, so this could be connected with the five of pentacles here. This would be especially true because we have the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles. If somebody has been struggling maybe financially, or if it's not financially, it's anything connected to the root chakra, safety, security, um, the moon also. It's quite a, there could be a quite complex or deep message here going on, but they're showing that there's a connection between the root chakra and pausing and reflecting and kind of, um, going within right now and the reason for this again could be because it's important to address kind of where we hold those either wounds within us or where we're experiencing lack or struggle okay with the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles and i feel like spirit's encouraging someone here to uh again just just kind of process that or to go within here and to also consider what but I'm still trying to see what the reason for this exactly is. Is it pausing for a long time? Is it heading somewhere in the future? What is the... Because you're back and forth, okay? Or someone's been back and forth. Again, there's been a reoccurring pattern. Um, could be somebody around you, maybe, uh, but I do feel for most this is you. And this would be for somebody, again, who's been having a reoccurring pattern of some kind. Seems to be like a mental pattern uh, connected to maybe struggle in the outside world because of something inside of you with the moon. And they're asking you to go back to your root chakra, go back to also your heart, your root chakra, something connected to how, why is this pattern repeating for you? Why is this reoccurring for you? And do you need to stop and ask yourself if you still want to proceed again? Or do you want to focus on a different path? Because um, that's something coming up here. There's very much of a reassessment. Someone here could be reassessing their next move or reassessing, you know, something about what's happening next for them. And is where you've invested your time, invested your emotions, invested your money, you know, invested all of your energy. Is that still working for you? So, what is the Seven of Pentacles here for, Spirit? Spirit saying that I want you to, Spirit saying here, I want you to take off, okay? Or this could be like Spirit Guides coming up for someone. I want you to see, I want to see you successful. I want to see you take off, is what they're saying. Um, so I feel like there's a message for someone here where spirits really wanting someone to be successful spirits wanting someone to achieve something great but these are a little bit difficult these are a little bit and it could be just the intensity of what we're going through currently but um, that's something coming up here they really want you to blossom like that flower okay judgment is showing at the bottom of the deck so it's a very much of an encouraging type of message for someone I'm hearing they want you to replenish your water, replenish your energy. This could be taking a bath. This could be anything to do with water. Um, so what is that flower then, Spirit, that you showed in the beginning? What is the flower about? Ace of Pentacles. I'm being shown Ace of Pentacles. What is the flower about? Lots of uh, magenta color. So there's something about magenta. I'm not sure what the color magenta means, but it gives me a feeling of the heart and just being very open. Okay. What is the flower about? Yeah, it's connected to this message here. Okay, I'm seeing we have the queen of cups in reverse. We have the knights of cups in reverse. We have the devil in reverse. Again, something connected to hmm. what is spirit? Help me to put this together. What is the main kind of focus about this together? 
What is what what should they do about it? What is this message ultimately about? So ultimately it's about this main thing that I already said. The main message here is to beware of sharks. I'm hearing beware of the sharks that could come and attack you if you're not careful. The sharks could be you, it could be your fears, it could be representation of um, like enemies around you, it could be representation of fears. But I just saw the devil also in reverse and um, I do feel like it's important right now to be aware of those sharks. Be aware of how they can affect you and creep up on you. Um, so I think the, the feeling or the um, message about pausing and reflecting is really the main focus right now to make sure that you do pause and reflect. I still don't know what why really maybe just because there's like a warning to move forward or just because it's important to focus on your own replenishing right now because if you were to keep going or if you were to burn yourself out then maybe it wouldn't be good um, something like that is coming up here as the main focus or the main message yeah again the spirit saying i want you to be peaceful or i want you to find peace okay uh the lovers just flew out here interesting so what is the lovers about i'm seeing the two of cups here too so tell me why we have this are you ever going to make a decision i'm hearing so this could be i'm not sure if this is you asking this question or this is spirit asking the question are you ever going to make a decision so it's like i feel someone's being encouraged yeah the fool at the bottom Queen of Cups reverse and the Hanged Man reverse. Pisces energy coming up here. Um, the lovers can be, of course, a divine connection with the Two of Cups as well, but it can also be making a decision that comes from our heart. So it's interesting that we have these cards here about somebody who's been in a repeating pattern, someone who's been in fear, someone who's been in maybe, you know, not doing anything or not making a move or the Hanged Man here. So are you ever going to make a decision? What is this? Because your heart is ready, I'm hearing. So this is very interesting. I think um, Spirit saying that your heart, I, I don't know, is this something new? What is, how will they get here then? Okay, so this can go two ways. I'm being shown that there's going to have to be some type of cutting or severing. Like I already said here with the, all these cards, somebody, I don't know, it could be somebody else around you, um, but there's a feeling of cutting yourself off. If this is you, you could be cutting yourself off unintentionally from love or even from just your higher kind of expression or your higher love or higher purpose, you know, with the lovers here. And Spirit's saying that it's essential for someone to work on their root chakra. It's essential for someone to work on why are these fears happening? Why do I still feel this way? Um, how can I move past these triggers? Because Spirit is saying that they want you to be in a happy relationship or they want you to, your heart is ready. So I kind of get the sense that somebody is holding back on making a really big decision or holding back on following their heart and following their bliss. Um, could be, I don't know, it could be someone around you, but it's, I feel like it kind of, if that's the case, it would probably be like a mirroring type of connection here. Um, and I feel like with the seven of pentacles, you know, again, there's kind of a feeling of we can only hang on to something for so long, the five of cups, we can only hang on to sadness for so long before it really starts to deplete us. Um, so there's a root cause to all of this that's causing or keeping somebody from maybe, a, you know, this, what else about the lover's spirit and the two of cups? Is this something coming in? What is the energy of this two of cups and the lovers? Time to shed the skin. Yeah, snake skin. So again, I feel like there's healing required for someone and once they do this once they surrender to this healing once they make these right decisions they seem to be moving into a direction with the two of cups and the, and the lovers to is it coming together is it meeting somebody new it's not something specific for most of you this is keeping your heart open for experiences 
Um, could be so something specific for some, but the main message here is that it's time to open your heart. It's time to really open your heart. It's time to love again, to not just romantic love, but friendship, um, even just being in a better position in general. And going back to the same message we had in the beginning, maybe stop and pause and ask yourself if you are either in the right place right now that could be if you're in the right relationship that could be are you in the right circumstances um someone is having to really dig up their fears and um you know like i said make these decisions and it seems like it's been repeating or causing an over over time i'm hearing causing sadness over time causing a lot of emotions for someone and um, it's kind of like a situation where this two of cups and this lovers is more of the energy of being open to experience and being open to warmth and love. I'm hearing even connection to spirit, even connection to your angels and connection to your guides and, you know, feeling the love from source and from spirit. Um, someone's been feeling maybe that they don't have that and that's not true. So the Two of Cups and the Lovers is more so spirit saying that somebody is being asked to open up to, and it's very encouraged by spirit. I'm hearing it's very much what spirit wants for you, what spirit wants for somebody. But I remember now I did see the scissors. When I What I was going to say is someone has to make a decision to either cut something or to address these kind of cords of the past or old kind of rusty energy so that they can actually make room for this, Lovers and the Two of Cups. Um, is kind of what I'm seeing here. And I feel like this is something definitely very much encouraged. Okay, so anything else about the Two of Cups and the Lover Spirit? What is the, any other messages for this message? They want you to, um, yeah, it's like I feel this is for someone where Spirit really wants somebody to find love. I keep getting... Um, and I keep seeing it's like about being vulnerable and open and having somebody who understands you, having somebody who kind of meets you on that level. And I really strongly feel like somebody needs to cut cords here, cut cords from the past, the fool. Yes. Someone needs to cut cords from the past. And that's going to depend if it's an ex of yours, if it's something that you kind of know isn't serving you. Uh, there's actually a whole new world really waiting for you. And it's really connected to your heart. I'm hearing it's not only your heart, but it's your just your purpose as well, being closer to your higher self, being closer to spirit. And the fool is here to say that um, I'm hearing breaking generational patterns. So that definitely could resonate for somebody here. If you've been having a hard time in love or having a hard time feeling warmth and love and connectedness in general, um, that could be one of the reasons is that I feel there's something about a generational curse or some family ancestral thing with the five of pentacles that actually is keeping somebody in a, in a loop. Okay. And you would know if that's you because you've been experiencing this for a while. Um, I'm also being shown somebody, uh, not a great picture, but it's like fingers kind of being cut off. So it's, there's like, there's a feeling of something like that to where someone may have felt defenseless or, you know, so the fool what else about the fool okay they want you to also uh, enjoy more time for fun right now again i feel like with the dancing people here too this is about having fun in general i'm just seeing like a lot of um, happiness and abundance and connection and this is a completely separate energy over here you know, this is somebody who's not leveling up to that, somebody who's not letting that in, somebody who's shutting that out. And the lovers and the fool here is it's really time. So anything else about that? They do want to encourage someone to have a black tourmaline crystal, something here to... Um, this may not be for all of you, but for some of you or for someone, maybe there's like a very persistent energy from the past. I'm not sure if it's coming from an actual person or this is just like the fears or the cords from the past, but something feels very persistently trying to almost like keep somebody off of their truer path, you know? So I feel like that's, that's what's coming up here. So what can the viewer do? What can you do about this spirit? What is the advice or what is the kind of final thing? with this message today for somebody. I'm also hearing to try to romanticize your life. Do small things. I'm getting the planet Venus here. 
So Libra, Taurus energy, anything connected to romanticizing your life or just enjoying the present moment, um, trying to bring more warmth into your life. Definitely lots of like fire I'm getting, maybe even making a fire or something about warmth here. Um, we have the six of pentacles reversed and the king of wands in reverse. And here's the wheel of fortune. So what can you do? What is the advice about this or the final information about this spirit? Six of pentacles, king of wands. Yeah, some of you have a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or an Aries that has not been giving enough to you or someone that has been taking from you more that they've more than they've been giving to you. Um, and I feel like with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, this has, again, been kind of like a one-sided thing or a lopsided thing. Uh, that's for one group of you here and that you would know about that if that's you. And you may have to separate yourself from that. You may have to um, call back your power, I'm hearing, from that situation. Um, anything else with the Six of Pentacles? Someone here could be, I'm not sure if this has already happened or this is going to happen, but this may not be for all of you, but for someone, there could be somebody here, I don't know if they're going to contact you or this person is going to try to get something from you, but I just get the sense that they're not really either changing or this is somebody who is repeating the same things that they've done before. Um, and that's something that I feel you're needing to know. That could be the repeating pattern for some. Um... Tell me about this King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Somebody who... Let me just pause this. My dog is... Sorry, I had to pause the video because there's a siren or an ambulance going by and my dog was going to start howling for like five minutes. Um, but we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So... Yeah, I think, again, that's the same confirmation here that I was saying. There could be somebody who... Um, what is, so what do you... Let me just see here before we go. What does the viewer need to do right now? What is the best advice for you with this whole reading that we had seen today? What is What do you need to do or to know? I'm hearing anchor yourself, okay? So Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit wants you, the viewer, to anchor yourself, to know kind of your worth. And um, anchor yourself. What do you mean by that exactly? So some of you have been going through a tough time, obviously with this year, and it's almost like they're saying that hold on for a little while longer because you're gonna experience a shift in this, but they, they I don't know what, exactly what the King of Wands is, but they want you to anchor yourself. Um, what is the connection to this and the lovers and the Two of Cups spirit? Okay, so they, they want you to know that you are meant to have somebody, again, like I said, um, somebody, I'm, I'm hearing specifically, specifically someone who's going to really understand you at a mental level, someone who you can connect with more like intellectually, more spiritually, more at a soul level. And for some, this message involves love here. And this is you maybe being in a one-sided dynamic or some connection that I feel is not making you feel anchored or secure. Um, and also I feel too that the more that you anchor yourself, the more that you, again, lots of root chakra energy here, the more that you focus on that, uh, the more easily you can kind of meet people and bring into alignment the vibrational match to your desires and to your energy with the two of cups and the lovers here and the fool. So there's very much of a new beginning, but, um, that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see any final message that you need to know from this deck here. Anything else for whoever this is, Spirit, that to summarize this reading? Any final messages? I don't know why I'm picking up on somebody trying to creep into this reading. Uh, somebody who's playing it cool, I'm hearing. Somebody who is 
pretending maybe that they're not very interested or not invested in this connection. I don't know what their correlation to this is. I'm not sure if this is what's currently going on already, or this is the person who you're meant to maybe come together with here. But again, someone's really in this fear. Someone's really having to, um, like I said in the beginning, you know, address whatever these repeating patterns have been and break free from that and allow for this new beginning. It seems like it's really wanted and encouraged by spirit, wanting someone to be happy, wanting someone to be cared for, to be fulfilled. Um, this is like, you know, but I don't know, what, why is this person creeping into the energy? Because they're drawn to your light. So someone's very drawn to your light. I kind of feel like it's this Six of Pentacles reverse, some one-sided energy. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be like that forever, or this is just something that's already been in the past. But something about like a one-sided dynamic where someone's been very drawn to your light. And for you, Queen of Pentacles, I believe this is you over here too. I mean, it could be this other person too, maybe. But with the Five of Pentacles, it seems like this is about you having to, again, kind of um, whatever I said before too, you know, know what you deserve and to anchor yourself, especially if somebody has been trying to take your light or maybe not intentionally, but you know, if somebody is just not on your level, um, I'm just hearing that it's time to make some type of decision here. Okay. So anything else about the two of cups and the lovers and the fool for the viewer? I'm hearing it's going to take a long time, but you will get there. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. So again, I feel like for a lot of you, you are needing to be anchored. Uh, definitely work on your root chakra for whoever, for whoever this is. Your root chakra is very important right now to work on because either you feel unstable right now because of a current connection or you've been dealing with things coming back from the past just within yourself, maybe your healing journey with these eclipses and everything too. Maybe you need to anchor yourself, have a clear vision of what you want, not just love, but I do feel love is involved here, but it's really about you, um, again, kind of understanding more of the path that you want to take and anchoring that in. And Spirit's really encouraging someone to know that it's going to take a little bit to get there, but don't give up on it. Don't give up on love. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on, you know, just because you could be going through this pattern right now, or just because you could find that something here is making you feel that things are repeating or not getting better. Don't let that dictate your future, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, anything else, Spirit, before we go here that we need to know today for whoever this is for? I'm hearing you've got the spirit in you. You've got the magic in you. Um, they definitely want to encourage somebody to know how like special they are or to know, to drag drag somebody out of this five of pentacles. You know, drag somebody out of this low point and to know how special you are. It's like there's a feeling of a spark within you and you can very much attract whatever you want. I feel like you're meant to have, again, somebody who kind of gives a spark to you and vice versa, not something that's going to take from you. So whether this is something that's happening now or something from the past, either this has to change this dynamic and you need to anchor yourself, take some time, figure out if this is what you want, um, or there's going to be an entirely kind of new world that you're stepping into uh, that you're meant to have more happiness and love and prosperity, but you also need to do some cord cutting or uh, thinking about where is that still affecting you? A time to give rather than take. Yeah, give back to yourself right now. Definitely self-care is important. Focus on the self. Again, Queen of Pentacles, I'm getting a lot of Venusian energy here. Um, to do things that make you feel good, make you feel beautiful, make you feel worthy. Um, it's going to be important for that. Anything else? Let's get one more. Anything else, Spirit? I'm hearing you haven't lost anything. Um, you haven't lost anything. Nothing will come out of the situation. A time for healing and luck is on your side. Yes. 
So whatever you've been through, it's not been a loss, okay? It just feels like it's a time for healing. It just feels like whatever this is, it's a time for healing. But luck is about to strike, I feel, with the Fool and the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Um, what is this spirit? Luck is on your side. You just have to see it, Spirit saying. You just have to see it. You just have to maybe shift your perspective a little bit. Um, don't let pride get in your way, okay? So don't let the, whatever this means to you, don't let pride in a connection maybe, in a relationship, uh, or don't let pride just, I don't know what that means, but don't let that get in the way of you finding love or high, everything really is what I feel here for you. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope this reading could help somebody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great night and lots of love. Love. Love.